the trust document for a married couple has to say, among many other things, what is supposed to happen when the first spouse dies. Most married couples leave something, if not everything, to their surviving spouse. But there are many different ways that you can leave something or everything to your spouse. And that's where this AB trust comes in. So when you're drafting your married couple trust, well, you have many decisions to make, but one critical decision is figuring out how to leave property to your surviving spouse. There are other decisions that have to be made once you make that decision, but that base decision is, do I want to control my spouse and what my spouse does with my property after I die? So with an AB trust, you can allow your spouse to use your money after you die if they need it. But after your spouse dies, you get to control who gets it. Your spouse cannot change that. If you don't set your trust up as an AB trust, your spouse can do whatever they want with the property, including changing the estate plan after you die. Okay, so Jessica, talk to us about how that works exactly. Yes. So on the death of the first spouse, if you have an AB trust, your singular trust would split into two separate trusts, the A trust and the B trust. And it'll be the survivor's share and the deceased spouse's share. And the surviving spouse can change their surviving share trust. They can update it, they can change the beneficiaries, but they cannot change the deceased spouse's share. And so in that way, there is control over what your spouse can do with your share. Right. The deceased spouse's share becomes irrevocable. That's why the survivor can't change it. And just as an aside, you may see in your own trust documents, you'll typically you'll see that term survivor's trust, but you may see other a variety of terms for the deceased spouse's trust. Um, you might see it called a bypass trust. That's what we call it in our office. Sometimes it's called a credit shelter trust. It could be called family trust, decedent's trust. But whenever the trust says we have to split it into two, that's what we're talking about. Thank you for joining us today for another episode of Absolute Trust Talk Live. If you enjoyed listening in, then don't forget to subscribe. You can find us on Apple Podcasts or wherever you may listen by searching Absolute Trust Talk. While you're there, we would also love for you to leave us a review. And then why not share your favorite episodes with family, friends, or colleagues too? You can find all of our shows and corresponding show notes by visiting AbsoluteTrustCouncil.com. You'll also find a variety of other free resources, including our ebooks, videos, blogs, presentations, and more. If you need help with your estate planning or administration, we also offer a free discovery call to help get the process started. You can find more information on booking your session by visiting AbsoluteTrustCouncil.com slash scheduling. Don't forget to keep an eye out for our next live episode. If you join us for the broadcast, you can submit questions during the show. But if not, don't worry. You can always get in touch with us by sending a quick message to info at AbsoluteTrustCouncil.com. Thanks again for listening. We'll see you soon.